1964, the Guinness World Record for longest time awake was broken by a 17-year-old high school student. My name is Randy Gardner. Randy broke a previous record by staying awake for 11 days, 25 minutes, under the watch of Stanford sleep scientists. During his attempt, Randy experienced serious cognitive and behavioral changes, including mood swings, concentration and short-term memory problems, paranoia, and hallucinations, leading the Guinness World Records to ban future attempts. Current recommendations from multiple organizations recommend seven to nine hours of sleep for adults and more for kids and teens. Less than 1% of individuals can function on six hours of sleep because they have a specific and rare gene. For everyone else, six hours of sleep or less is associated with many health conditions. Long-term exposure to insufficient sleep increases pain sensitivity. In one study, 14 healthy adults completed a three-week period of five nights of five hours of sleep and two nights of eight hours of sleep, followed by a control protocol of eight hours of sleep per night for three weeks. Participants in the sleep deprivation phase had reduced cold pain tolerance and increased spontaneous pain. They perceived cold sensations as more painful than the control group. Their findings concluded that chronically insufficient sleep alters the brain's ability to inhibit pain. A recent critical review shows how neurobiological factors are involved in the interaction between chronic pain, depression, and sleep disruption. A 2014 study of 160 student athletes showed that those sleeping less than 8 hours per night were 1.7 times more likely to be injured compared to those sleeping 8 hours or more. Even athletic performance suffers with reduced sleep, as seen when tracking sleep and performance data of an NBA player over the course of a season. Players such as Steph Curry are now prioritizing sleep and recovery to gain an edge over the competition. In one experiment, both groups of mice were injected with tumor cells after one week of either controlled sleep or partially disrupted sleep. Tumor growth was recorded four weeks after injection and compared, showing a 200% increase in tumor growth in mice with partially disrupted sleep. In fact, the World Health Organization now lists sleep disruption from shift work as a probable carcinogen. Sleep deprivation is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Even one to two hours of sleep loss causes an increase in heart rate and blood pressure, putting more stress on blood vessels. During daylight saving time, there's an increase in the number of heart attacks when the clocks are moved forwards and a decrease when they are moved back. There are metabolic changes with reduced sleep. Two hormones, ghrelin and leptin, control our appetite and are both impacted from sleep loss, signaling you to simultaneously eat more and feel less full. A 50-year population-based study outlines the alarming trend between the prevalence of obesity and self-reported sleep. Sleep patterns also show a strong relationship with the incidence and risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Even Randy Gardner, now in his senior years, has a new perspective on sleep. You have to have sleep. It's, it's as important as, it's the big three, I call it the big three, water, food, sleep. You gotta have them, all of them. 